Guys, stay close. Come on. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we just moved a whole huge truck full of stuff up to the new house. Uh, thank you so much to our friends, Terry and Shannon. Uh, we used Terry's trailer and truck and we just hauled a ton of stuff. The aviaries, uh, the pond, uh, some of the Zen habitats, a whole bunch of stuff. So we just got up to the new house. Now we have to unload everything. Loading it up was, oh my God, that was, it was a nightmare in itself. And we had George to help us for that. But now that we're up here, it's just me and Gabby right now. And so uh, we're not going to get very much done uh, because it's just the two of us. Our friend Josh is going to come tomorrow. Hopefully he can help with some of it. And uh, but yeah, we're going to got a lot of stuff to move right now. Right now, though, I'm going to try to set up some animals. So I'm just going to try to get the pond out of here and then set the turtles up. So they will be uh, the first animals that get set up on the new property it is going to be uh, Waffles, the special needs turtle. And uh, what else? The uh, snapping turtle as well. And um, the Indian spotted turtle, too. So this is the base of one of the snake cages. Needs to be clean and spray Needs painted. To be clean. This for thing got sure. ripped up. That kind of sucks. Um, so I have like heat pads and thermal um, tape on here. But so this is waffles because you know, kind of looks like a waffle. <laughs> well, no, because you know, flat and then uh, the uh, yeah. So waffles was kept. Unfortunately, uh, his are you a boy? Looks like a, might be a boy. Yeah, his entire, definitely a boy. I check the tail and then I look at the long claws right here. So that's a very good indicator. This is a male. During courtship, they'll go for the females with these long claws and that's their courtship. They'll tickle their face with the long claws. But anyway, so he uh, was kept in a two inch deep Tupperware for his entire life. Tupperware, guys. Yeah, like really bad. Um, and zero heat, zero light, zero filtration. Nothing. Just awful. And uh, so, very, very sad situation for poor Waffles right here. But now, he gets to live his best life. There you go. I'm going to put more water in here, but... Um, and basking here. spots and plants. And again, this is temporary. Eventually, we're going to have like a huge pond for them. Yep. So, and then we also have our Indian spotted turtle. Super pretty. Hi. Oh, sorry. They're really pretty though. They're beautiful. Did you name this one? I did not actually. Yeah. We, we've had him since he was this big. Yeah. And you didn't name him? No, I didn't. You're a bad mother. What do you want to name him? That's your turtle. This one's Gabby's turtle. I'll think of something creative. Here you go. And we are going to put um, a piece of something over it so they're safe from predators. <laughs> Swimming against the current. <laughs> All right, so this is the macaw cage that we're just using temporarily. I mean, this whole thing is going to be temporary right now, guys. We want to have a beautiful aquascape that we're going to have these guys living in, hopefully. Um, but right now, we're going to set up something. There's a lot of wildlife around here, a lot of raccoons. So we don't want them reaching and grabbing our turtles. So just setting this up over it, keep them secure. A lot of stuff is going to be temporary. Luckily, we have these cages that were left, um, again, for the chicken. Uh, chickens and the pig just temporarily we're gonna clear it out and put hay and stuff but just to keep them safe just to get on the property it's not easy trying to build and renovate and do all of this stuff when we live five hours away we're only up here three days a week right now welcome to our MTV Cribs episode interlocking <laughs> All right, so it's an absolute disaster in here, but we have brand new floors. Very exciting. 
Uh, so brand new floors. We painted all the walls. All the We're ceilings. doing a second coat today. Yeah. A second coat, because look at that. It's so uneven. Looking pretty good. Looking really good. And these are the Life Proof. It's LVP. My dad builds houses. He highly recommended them for animals because they're waterproof and like scratch resistant. So we'll let you guys know how they work out just in case you want to, you know, redo your floors. We're not trying to promote them. They didn't pay us. I know, but like I'm always trying to help other animal people. <laughs> but this is not sponsored, unfortunately. Don't do it, Bambi. Yeah, I saw her go right for that car. We are still working on <laughs> potty training. Don't you do it. I had her out for a half hour walk the other day. She immediately comes in and poops and pees on the floor. So we're still working on potty training, but just look at this view. I think we showed this in the last video, but look at that. It's so pretty. Can we name that tree Awa? Oh yeah. Can that be our Awa tree? Sure. So we haven't really got to explore it all yet. Which is really sad because this place looks really cool and this looks like an awesome road if we keep going that way to go uh, cruising for snakes. So every time we're coming in and out, I'm like really eyeing this road and hoping we're going to find something crossing it. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to actually like settle in and get done with all the work and then actually be able to enjoy it a little bit, you know, look around some, um, which we're not going to be done with all the work for another couple years if we say all the work but you know what I'm trying to say just settle in a little bit get the move done and be able to have a day where you're like okay you know let's do this much today and then let's go out and see if we can enjoy ourselves a little bit all right guys so it's moving day we have packed the truck to the max we got in and out movers helping us out thank Bro, you thank you got it got and uh Dude, I don't think we could possibly have fit more stuff in here. I am impressed by the amount we fit in there. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Let's see if it is. Teamwork makes your dream work. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Boom. Wow. But uh, my golden doodle is really good. <laughs> Guys, we just made it to the new house. It's pouring. Got all the animals are just trying to wait it out a little bit. There's everybody. Everybody did really well. Unfortunately, my GPS messed up, and instead of uh, four and a half hours, it took me five and a half hours to get here. So they're already unloading, but I just got here. But just trying to um, to wait it out, see if the rain will subside. You can see the aviary. There's our aviary, but really excited to be here. Um, we're like 90% done. All the animals are here. All the enclosures are here. We just have some other things. So probably one more trip down, which I think Chris is gonna do tomorrow to get all the other stuff. And then we have our other aviary. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. My other aviaries <laughs> over there, which we haven't even unloaded yet. There's Bambi, very eager to get out. So I'm just glad that we both made it safe. Chet, he's been such a good boy. Are you okay? You sleepy boy. There's Cinder. So Cinder is our kitty with no eyes. He's completely blind. Um, he hates car rides. So I went to the vet yesterday and picked him up some drugs, which really calmed him down and really helped make the ride more comfortable for him and I have wheelie pads there just in case um, but it doesn't look like either of them went to the bathroom which is great but since all the birds especially Olaf do not like rain we're just again waiting it out a little bit okay I think I'm just gonna leave the car running for the animals and me and Bam oh my god never mind never mind <laughs> sorry Bam I was gonna go and help you I was gonna go inside but nope all right let's see if maybe I can reverse a little. I'll have to move my car, but maybe if I reverse, there won't be a giant puddle and we can kind of make a run for it. Hi, <laughs> are you in prison? What happened? Are you in prison? <laughs> wow. What? Oh my goodness. Chaos. Chaos. Okay, 
Dios. Come on, Dan. You have a quiet ride? <laughs> what? You have a quiet ride? Uh, I got lost for another hour. <laughs> How were the birds though? They were quiet, yeah. Good. They were quiet. Good. Uh, where are these, most of these birds? Oh, did we just lose power? Yeah, you did. It's going back on, wait. Oh, no. Uh, see what Valley did a couple free attacks? Are you serious? I love the birds. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, all right. Uh, just... Wow, look at the rain falling out there with the light. How you guys doing? You guys okay? <laughs> Yeah, Andy, ah. why are you growling? Stop it. Stop it. They're helping us. They're helping us, crazy. What are you doing? So the power keeps going in and out. This is our first time being here, like in the rain like this. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Are you excited? I am. Or just stressed? You don't look very excited. I am very stressed. I'm not. I am not looking Surprisingly, forward. I'm not. Um. Wait, how many just got this so we can use it all? Okay. That's where the aviary is gonna go. Here comes the big aviary. Yep. And we're gonna put this out into this end. We should be putting them in the middle. You want me to lift? Take it. Can you lift that onto the dollar? Like an inch. That's like not even, no. Like, Centimeters? Uh, yeah. If you fire some of this down, we'll go right through. <laughs> we'll see it. Yeah, so they're going to take it back out and we're going to go through the front door you want now. The volley? Yeah. All right, while they're doing that, I'm going to check on the pig. That's why I was just checking on them. They're okay. Maybe looks good. Awesome. So this is just a temporary setup, but we're so lucky that this came with the house. Hi, Toonie girl. What do you think? So this can be our temporary tortoises. Awesome. Yeah, we are so lucky that we. Yeah, this had is this. already here. I yeah. mean, it's, uh, it's not exactly an ideal. No, no. Caging. But for now, like. Yeah, we definitely want to knock this down and replace it. But uh, for right now, it was perfect yeah. just as a temporary. Oh, one of my legs. <laughs> That's nice. Cool. And then over here, the turkeys are usually there in the morning. Turkey? Wild turkeys. Yeah, they're like right over here in the morning. And then there's a, like the family of rabbits that lives in this too. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. Do you hear the sandhill cranes? Yeah, those are the cranes. Sandhill cranes. <laughs> sandhill cranes? Yeah. yeah. They're like this tall. The birds. Red, yeah, yeah, redhead. They're real cool. So all the rain is falling off the trees or all the, the water droplets. So it's not raining, but it looks like it's raining. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's magical. Okay, second attempt through the front door. Ignore the no trim on the doors, but look at my beautiful chandelier. Love it. Thank you, Jeff, for hanging it. Gorgeous. Let's see if this works. Two of the legs broke off, so we're just gonna put them on two by fours for now until we build a, a frame. 
Welcome to my lovely organized domicile. You thought the moving out part was bad. Look at this place. It is just... But hey, at least we got here. You know, so uh, right now we gotta start setting everybody up the best that we can. Um, right now I'm gonna get Jelly Bean out and try to put him in here. And uh, really, really hope that he cooperates. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Oh, he's a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. So smart. Good boy. Just a little. No. Oh, there you go. Good boy, Bean. Up over there. Up to the perch. To the perch. To the perch. Hey. Good boy, Bean. Good boy, Jelly Bean. That might be a little too close to his bowl because his beak is so big. We'll see. Good boy, honey. Just temporary. So we already got everybody uh, water and now we just have to try to start setting some things up the best that we can. Um, I guess we can go on the porch and organize the bird cages for tomorrow morning so we can put them out because uh, we're gonna leave them inside tonight just because it's not predator proof out there yet. And uh, so we could have snakes be able to go through the wide bars of the cage. So we need to uh, have them in at night, you know, but so we can set up the cages now. So they're all facing in a line and whatnot. And then we can put the birds out there in the morning. Yeah, for sure. Ay, 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 Chris. <laughs> you know, they're eating toucan poop. That's nice. Chaos. Oh. So today was absolute chaos, guys. Uh, for those of you watching our channel because you like our, you know, crazy animal interactions, this is probably the worst episode ever. But I know some people uh, also like to see just what this process is like with so many animals, you know, it's just insanity. So, um, yeah, ah, man, weird episode, right? But uh, hope you guys did enjoy it, you know, let us know what you think. Thank you so much to everybody for their support. And thank you so much to Richard for helping us out, uh, in and out moving, helping us out. And then Jeff came up, helped us out today too. So, you know, we would not be able to be doing this without the help of so many friends. So we are very, very thankful for that.